This video is an add-on video to the other tutorials to share with you how Control-G works in the full version of Photoshop. Uh, you'll often hear me saying in the tutorials for Photoshop Elements to hit Control-G on your keyboard. That works differently in the full version than in Photoshop Elements and that's the reason for this tutorial. It's not that much different. Um, you just kind of have to learn to translate in your head every time I say control G um, that I really mean alt control G and let me show you why. Um, I just have two layers here. I have a, a blue one that's a funky shape and a red one um, just for playing and, and this isn't meant to be a full detailed lesson just a little quick tip to help you understand the differences if I tell you in a tutorial to hit control G and you do that in Photoshop you'll notice over here in the layers palette that it says group one that is not what we want I'm gonna hit control Z to undo if I hit instead on my control key or on my keyboard alt control G you will see that I get a down arrow on this layer and my red layer has now taken on the shape of the blue layer below this is the grouping as they call it in Photoshop elements so when I say control G in the tutorials if you are using the full version of Photoshop, you need to um, do Alt Control G. Now we'll look at what um, I'm going to hit Control Z. Another way that you can get this is by right clicking and choosing Create Clipping Mask, and then that also works. Um, we're going to look at what grouping does though. If I hold down my control key and click on all three of the layers to make them active and press control G, you're going to see they all disappear. Well, they haven't really disappeared. They are in this group and if I click on this arrow facing to the right, you will see them appear again. If I click on that arrow again, kind of folds them up. It maximizes and minimizes the group. This is something not available in Photoshop Elements but is really handy in the full version of Photoshop so that um, uh, your layers palette, um, if it's getting rather long, whoops, where did, where did my layers palette go? There it is, but somehow I've undocked it. Uh, okay, now my computer's going slow. But anyway, <laughs> come back, come back. I'm just going to undock it for right now. If, you're <laughs> if your layers palette is getting uh, rather large, and now I'm going to put it back over here. There we go. I got it back. Um, <laughs> if you can see, I don't use Photoshop Elements, uh, the full version of Photoshop, a whole lot lately. I'm still a little bit learning it myself. But um, yeah. <laughs> now I've forgotten where I was. Uh, but if your layers palette, I meant to just minimize this one. There we go. That's what I wanted to do the first time. If, if your layers palette is uh, getting rather long and you're having to scroll a lot, you could group a set together that you might be working on that might be similar and then close them up and that will make it a lot shorter. And so um, if you want to ungroup them, you right click and click ungroup. There they all are. I've still got them all active. So if I hit control G, you see they'll go in together as a group. Um, if I hit Control G again, uh, it made another group. Right click and ungroup. There we go. And so um, if you hear me say Control G once again in the tutorials, you're going to want to hit Alt Control G. 
There we go. Um, yeah, it is hard. I'm sorry for that. Now I'm a little embarrassed, but hey, I make mistakes. Uh, the uh, I don't. Uh, it's hard to go from one program to the other. Um, sometimes clicking on one thing does one thing in one program and another thing in another, but they are all really similar. And so you just kind of need to um, get used to your program and what it does and kind of be able to translate a little bit. Um, and, and it will become habit uh, over time. Keep at it. Don't stop. You're going to do good. You're going to get it.